she thought I was joking. I was telling her real shit. She thought I was joking. She drove me to the front gate and she said, "Got car." No one place saw that you can't go. I be all over the state, no, it ain't far. If they slide on this block, I'm flipping they car. Making you a hit, but we soon love we trade. I went on break. I went on break. I was the last break. I did a show on purpose too, but I knew I was gonna see her. That I was gonna be on those skills Sunday. She, I'm texting her. I'm like, I'm thinking I'm gonna watch. Let me watch, bro. I'm talking to her while I'm at work. I'm gonna watch the shit. Right. And she's like. Oh, well, I'm over here at this certain location and shit. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm gonna come see you. I'm on break. Whole time, I ain't gonna break until like a whole nother, like, a whole nother, like 45 to an hour later because I'm trying to get the last break. I'm trying to get that shit. And so I don't have to worry about that. We are staffed over like a motherfucker. We are staffed over like a motherfucker. So I got, I got, I got hella people at every ride. Every ride is open on my side, right? I feel like them fucking. Job was supervisor. <laughs> like I felt, I really like mathematically put this shit together so me could, so I could really be gone for as long as I wanted to with this girl, right? So this is crazy. I made sure I had enough people for every ride, and then extras just in case anyone needs to use the bathroom, just in case you know someone felt sick or some shit, need to go home early, whatever case may be, right? Whatever case may be. So I had like four or five extras. This is off ride and the videos. And they getting trained and shit. So I'm like, alright, cool. I'm gonna go see her on my break at 8. It's how this shit at 8. And I left to go see her. I finally met up with her. And I was with her for like an hour and a half, bro. Probably like two, to be honest. Yeah, I was with her for like two hours. Damn. So, like, an hour and a half of those two hours, we was in her car in the parking lot, bro. We went to the employee parking lot. She, she got off early and shit. She wants to get on a ride. I was gonna clock out. Listen, mind you, I got bad. So clocking out wasn't shit to me. I was gonna clock out. But I was like, then again, in my in the back of my head, I'm like, Nate, Nate, you gonna give up bread for a few more right now? Are you dumb, nigga? <laughs> Are you stupid? Right? And I'm like, nah, I'm not doing that shit. So I'm just sitting in the car here, bro. Oh my fucking god. When I say I fell in love with Darcy Fumon, bro, I fell in love with Darcy Fumon. Charlie is so chocolate. Oh, that shit thick as fuck. Oh. So listen, imagine how I was feeling. But I, listen, I, I have, I have been me like where I can just really contain myself. I'm very, I'm very, how I say, contained. How, how, I keep my composure, bro. That's what I keep saying. I keep my composure. I know how to just keep my hands in my <laughs> So she's in, listen, she's in the driver's seat, bruh. She pulled up to the fucking, the, she pulled up to the spot, whatever, you feel me? We under the tree. I ain't gonna say too much, bruh, about this spot. And this spot, I love this spot. We might have gone back to this shit. Or, and I had the fuck her ass up. <laughs> but let's put it Right? So I'm in this spot, bro. This is funny. I'm in this spot where the ass, right, bro? Nobody knows this shit. If somebody I work with watch this shit and they see this, they're gonna be like, nigga, you so mad, bro. They're gonna be like, what the fuck, nigga, was gone? It's too late, that shit was done already, nigga. It's about to be a whole week. I mean, don't do that. I'm gonna purposely drop this shit on a Monday, so it could be a whole week later for real. <laughs> purposely, alright? I'm with her in the car, bro. She looking at me, I'm looking at her, and she's like, so, what's up? I'm like, I'm like, what's up? <laughs> bro, the temptation. Bro, she, she, bro, she, she was like, she was like, come on, let's get a ride. I was like, I'm gonna have to take off my shirt. She was like, she was like, take off thing. I was like, you want to take off right now? <laughs> bro, bro, mind you, I've been working out, bro. So I had no damn bones. Give me show my damn bones, nigga. I was take off this shit and show my bones like the wrong. I would have shown these skinny shits. Sorry, man. I feel like I was him already before I started working out. So imagine how I feel now, right? So I took, I took, I took him out, took him out. Please, sir, right? I'm just, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, so what's up? So I, I'm already at this shit. I'm in the kind of 
measure, right? This, this is the driver. This is the driver bag. This is the driver. I'm the passenger. And I'm just like it, bro. I'm hanging up my arm on the center console, bro. I'm turned. I'm turned, right? Phone fade down. My phone fade down. We looking at each other. I, I'm talking to her. I'm like, I'm, I'm staring her ass down, nigga. So I know she what the fuck over there. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, so I'm just trying to really fit, man. Like, 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 I'm like, trying to go somewhere that's somewhere. I'm trying to stay right here, man. So she's like, what you mean? Are you gonna go? I'm like, bro, mind you, my whole family, they left, bro. They went back to Florida. I got this house to myself. <laughs> Whole time thinking like, should I take the fence to the crib and really throw that ass dirty? <laughs> Whole time like, I should take her ass back to the crib. <laughs> I like, I, I would contemplate do it, but I was like, bro, if I want to bring her back to the house, bro, I would have to go to the ESO, clock out, like it's an emergency, I gotta leave, go get my bag and shit, and then come. I'm telling you something, man. I'm, I'll be on demon time, bro. I don't just be fucking. I'll be on demon time, bro. So, if I'm on demon time, bro, we was in this house for like three hours. <laughs> Probably longer, bro. Demon time. Shorty is thick. Shorty is thick as fuck. And then she, ooh, she looks so, she looks like fuck, man. Right. This house is big. It's so many different spots, but I would have been all around this shit, just thrashing the ass. <laughs> bro, but like, me knowing how freaky I am, bro, I left that shit alone. I'm like, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I kind of like changed the whole conversation. I changed the whole conversation. Mind you not, bro. Being a nigga, imagine that shit. You like, oh, you gay, you gay? That's some childish ass shit to say. I'm a real ass man, let's be honest. Because if I was the fucker, bro, she would have caught feelings. I'm sorry, bro. The amount of time we, like, how long we've been talking, leading up to that point, and I would have fucked her, oh yeah, she would have caught feelings. She would have felt like, oh, and I was together. No. I'm focused on me right now, bro. I don't need no attachments. And then we work together? Oh yeah, you definitely don't feel like I owe you something. No, I, I had to really like put thought into this shit, bro. I really understand what could possibly happen if I was a fucker, bro. Because, let's be honest, I'm on demon time. I'm not a regular ass nigga, bro. I'm on demon time. I'm a big ass fucker, all right? <laughs> I gotta say demon time, though, for some way. Demon time. So I should've probably said she talking about the yeah, I'm telling her, like, my background. I'm telling her, you know, that's my background and shit, you know, where my parents from, where I'm from, you know, what could me to be who I am. So she, she called me fake Asian. Because I was speaking clear to her. I could speak clear like that. I do know that shit. I can speak clear, but not just, I can't speak fluently. Like, I don't really know too much. But I know enough. Just to know that shit. So I'm speaking clear to her, and she got a Google and shit. Bro, Google is not gonna give you the right shit, bro. I'm sorry. So she like, oh, it's fake, it's fake, it's fake, it's fake. You're not telling me the real. I'm like, I'm teaching her, I'm teaching her, um, uh, how are you doing? I'm doing fine, all right? You know what I'm saying? I'm teaching that. I'm not saying that shit on time. But I know y'all teach it for me to say it. I'm not saying I'm sorry. Oh, you're fake. No, don't be in the comments on bro. I'm sorry. I'm not saying it. I believe it will let bitch up. Alright, I don't know why I'm saying like this too, but I'm telling like, show that. This, I mean, it's still part, I mean, it's still part, I'm just talking about shit. Alright, so I'm telling her, like, I'm teaching her pill and everything, alright. She's coming to vacation because she's Googling and shit, she didn't believe me. Damn, I'm telling her how she should cook for me and all that shit. She's like, no, I'm like, yes. And then I finally convinced her, she's like, yeah, she's gonna cook for me. One thing about these female braids, you gotta really. I'm gonna be a foot down on TV, my bro. I'm sorry, man. If, you, if you're not, if you're not that nigga, that's a sort of me not gonna get it done. It's done with me. Alright. Then, she got, she kinda got like mad, bro. 
she thought I was joking. I was talking her real shit. She thought I was joking. She drove me to the front gate and she said, "Got car." <laughs> she drove me to the front gate and said, "Get out the car. I'm done. I'm finna go home." <laughs> I was so bad. I was so bad, bro. I was like, "Damn, you don't even keep on your shit." It's crazy that. Then I, I, I know. I, I was like, "All right, cool. You feel me? I'll see you next weekend." But you don't know what weekend shit. Cousin told me say that money and to let it stack up. Remember I was down, now nigga back up. I'm married to that fast money, boy. I need it pronto. I keep two baby nines, calling Nina and Lorando. Ran off on the plug, all these drugs like I'm a topo. 